baby. So guys, it's Sunday afternoon and Daddy Each is going, hold on, with um, my bambino to church. Novi, <laughs> look, Novi's trying to press the button with my sister. Say hi guys. Hi <laughs> All right, see you later. Have fun. I'm gonna cook a Sunday roast while they're gone. Bye. Bye, princess. Be good. So here's the plan, right? I'm not going to church because I can just about breathe. Um, and also, I'm not gonna... Um, what's the word? Push myself. Oh, I miss it, though. I really want to do praise and worship. But yeah... I'm gonna cook a Sunday roast. I feel like having like roast chicken and Yorkshire puddings and potatoes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get dressed and slowly walk to the supermarket, buy the ingredients and slowly walk back. So I'm just gonna take my time. Yeah, hopefully that will help. So today is Sunday. I think that makes me three days past my due date, which they say technically doesn't mean I'm overdue, but I'm over my due date. I think once you pass 42 weeks, that makes you technically overdue, but yeah. Hi guys. So, right, I'm on the way back to my mum's from Tesco's um, supermarket. I was going to say this reason, I just thought to myself, don't do it to yourself, bags. Don't do it to yourself. My mum made me take a trolley. I don't think I've ever used a trolley since I was like, her little send out back in the day. But I'm telling you guys, the trolley is coming in handy. Honestly, I don't think I was going to pack as much or buy as much food as I bought but uh you know how women are we go for one thing come out with 50 and stuff I'm definitely out of breath and now I gotta walk all the way back to my mum's house which is calm because I need to do something different right um yeah yeah I'm tired and I'm not gonna lie, but I did some lazy shopping. Like, I didn't buy like onions today. I bought like chopped up onions and chopped up garlic and Aunt Bessie's potatoes. I was like, ain't nobody got time to be peeling potatoes and all of that. Not when you're hella pregnant. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a good one. I'm really hungry. My mouth's already like salivating for the dinner I'm gonna make. But yeah, guys, I'll see you on the other side when I finish cooking. Hey, guys. So, today's Tuesday. Yesterday was bank holiday Monday. And I pretty much rested all day, as you saw. EJ just took Nova out to the park and stuff. She's been hella busy, buddy. EJ's at work now. Um, we stayed at our own house yesterday night. It was quite like last minute but i was like oh, i just want to stay at home and um, he was like what if what if what if but i was cool um my little munchkin anyway i'm eating pineapples i feel like i've been getting really light irregular contraction today all throughout my pregnancy, mainly 
my last trimester. Yeah, no, but move your hand from the washing machine. Not nice. Close the door, please. Close the door, please. Go on, close it. Thank you, good girl. Close it. All the way, mind your fingers. Mind your fingers. Good girl. Yeah. The baby's been on my sciatic nerve. Um, I think that's like the nerve that kind of runs through like your back and your bum and your legs. But for me, it's always my right glute. So my right bum cheek. Do you know how embarrassing it is when I'm in public and I just stand up and then I'm in act I'm like, <gasps> people are like, what the hell? Or I just grab my bum cheek. People are just like, what the hell is she doing? But it's so painful. But this spasm, because this like a um, nerve spasm, isn't it? This spasm has been going on for ages since like last night. So it's hurting. So the baby's basically resting on my nerve. Um. Yeah, chilling today. Just waiting on this baby. Like literally, I went on a little walk earlier, just to the sandwich shop. Like, I felt like a um, shabbato bread sandwich. Um, making a mess. But yeah, I'm starting to feel it, guys. Feeling like really sensitive in my lady bits. Really frobby. A lot of pressure down there. Hips are hurt him. But I'm not necessarily in pain, more discomfort. I just feel huffy and buffy. <laughs> but this is just that part of it. And then you've got Active Nova, who is so active. She's giving me a run for my money, but hey. It's all good in motherhood, right? But we're going to see the baby soon, guys. By God's grace. I trust him and um, it's going to be an amazing experience. I know that this one's going to be even more amazing and an even bigger testimony than when I had Nova, so I'm excited. But yeah, guys, hope your Tuesday's going good. So guys, Nova has an obsession with lip balm. Do mommy's lips? <laughs> She'll be like, mommy, I want lip. Do mommy's. Do mommy's one. Do mommy. Oh, Nova. Do me. Come on. <laughs> Don't put a tongue in it, nasty. <laughs> Don't put your tongue in it. Look at her. <sighs> I'm trying to lie down. My sciatic nerve, guys. My bum cheek is on fire. It's on ache and bake. It's really ache and... Oh, my Jesus. I'm so... Hey guys, so today is okay. Hi guys. Every day, hi guys. Today is I think I is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. A whole Wednesday. So yeah guys. This is um forty plus six. I'm at my sister's house because my nephew turned six today. But I didn't want the baby to come today because I want the baby to have its own day. And um, today earlier, I squeezed in like a last um, maternity shoot. Um, yeah, it was really um, impromptu. Hence why I look a little bit decent today, just a tad. But um, yeah, just chilling with the fam bam, you know. Um, EJ's at, well, was at work. And then now he's at my house getting some stuff. And then, He's gonna come and meet me and go back to my mom's house and wait. I've been feeling a bit icky today though, um, as in nauseous and uh, yeah, having small um, release of the bowel. So 
so let's pray baby's coming maybe tomorrow i don't mind the 9th of may that's a nice well it's not the night a nice date to me really but it's quite odd but it's all right because nova's born on the 19th <laughs> so you know so yeah we'll see 9th or 10th maybe and also i've been getting like a regular contractions i don't know if i said that yesterday i was getting the regular contractions um they weren't really painful more discomfort um but they were really low down at first i was thinking is this a braxton hicks or is it a contraction but it's quite intense to be a braxton hicks i don't recall my braxton hicks ever being this intense but you know whenever you ready baby we ready for you so leave it to god <laughs> so i'm laughing because there's a sliding door and the door's cracked open and nova's through it hold on, let me see if you look and see oh you got, i don't know if you can see her but she was just there she was like hi guys hi guys but anyway guys yeah man later hey guys so today is friday which makes me 41 weeks pregnant and one day yep guys i'm still pregnant i'm on the way to the hospital with ej just for an appointment um i assume this appointment is to potentially discuss having a induction not today but like in the future when i become officially overdue um and to potentially talk about having a sweet um but i don't think i'm gonna go for any interventions i'm just gonna leave god to do his thing and um yeah see how it goes uh what else i'm also having a scan just to make sure babies are right and you know growth scans and all that i'm lucky um i've got my new friend guys you can see that <sighs> so painful but yeah it's quite sunny today i would have loved for the baby to come today but hey my fear is to don't always parents. get what you want but um yeah daddy believes it will come yeah, tomorrow I believe inside it. and you know the funny thing is if the baby comes tomorrow not only was i born on a saturday but that would mean that i'm giving birth again at 41 plus two hence why it's a saturday oh is that why yeah. well third baby wherever you are in the heavens 41 plus two not for you please because yeah. <laughs> i am tired but yeah guys so that's the update i'll holler after the appointment baby Mommy. you love baby <laughs> gentle soft why are you hurting baby mm -hmm. kiss baby yeah. all right baby say bye use your words and stop whinging <laughs> baby says see you later <laughs> Hey guys so today is saturday it's about five o'clock in the afternoon i'm at my my house right now um i just stopped we went for a car drive to kent with my mom and my sister and ej then i just passed my house to get more clothes yesterday's appointment went phenomenal baby's perfect everything's perfect the size the amniotic fluid positioning all of that good stuff so it's just a waiting game so i'm just here bouncing on this ball <laughs> bouncing and doing circles and it actually feels so good it's really alleviating pressure from my lady parts <laughs> but yeah i just came to get some extra tops and getting over some bits i doubt we'll be going to church tomorrow or i won't be because i can't risk my water's breaking there oh you never know baby could come tonight mm. but yeah so i'm literally about to get off this ball and go back to the car but you know when you miss your house yeah when you're in your house for too long yeah you're just like oh, i need to get out of my house but secretly i miss it 
But um, yeah, I need to get out of my house and get in the car and go back to my mummy's. I'm hungry, so <sighs> to go eat. Oh, that's what I needed to get some hair products because my hair's been looking wild. You got my straighteners, my slick brush, my edge wax. Slick this bad boy up. But yeah. Guys, this thing, boy, how rude. I'm going to get my mum to pop it. See what I'm saying? I don't really get spots. And when I do get a spot, it'll be a dirty one. Like, what is that? How can you come and do that on someone's face? I wonder if I've got something like this here, right here. Okay. Hey guys, so today is Tuesday, the 14th or 15th, heaven is the 15th or oh, February, February, wow. Mommy, mommy brain, baby brain, Craig's brain, all of that. So today is um Tuesday, the fifteenth of May, um, which makes me officially forty-one plus five, which means today's the day I'm supposed to be induced. But y'all know I ain't gonna go out so easy, right? <laughs> the way my faith is set up. The way I trust God, I told them no, that I want to wait a little longer. So, what I did opt for, because I didn't want to be ignorant, um, was a sweep. So I had a midwife come to my mom's house and give me a sweep. And yeah, very painful, but you know, um, that was, a, it was quite good actually, I got a sweep because obviously they give you a vaginal e examination as well. So I'm two centimeters dilated. Um, just waiting for my cervix to efface a little bit more because it's still two centimeters long. And you know, they like it to be paper thin. And um, babies are really low down. So I'm just believing God, you know. Um, I really would love to experience a water birth. And believe in Jesus that I am going to experience water birth so with that in mind I'm just praising you know like all these days I've been kind of like not emotionally up, up and down I have been and I've been a bit weary and anxious and you know I had to just be that sort of snap out of it bro that is not your personality you are positive patty so I had to remind myself of who I am in Christ. I had to remind myself of his word and what he's promised me. And I had to remind myself that this will bring glory to God's name, you know? And I already said when I found out I was pregnant that this was gonna be a better experience than it was with Nova, even though that was quite a good experience too. My mouth's a bit dry, guys. So let me just sit down for a bit. Yeah, so. I just come for a long walk with Nova. She's sleeping in the buggy. And um, I'm by like the embankment. Like, um, yeah, basically right by the Thames. The water is so brown, it's so sad. I mean, can't it be green or something, please? But yeah, um, what am I saying to you? You know, I'm trying to be positive and um, have faith as small as a mustard seed. I think unless you're a woman that has been overdue to this extent and understand the potential, uh, not complications, but implications, the potential implications, um, it's very difficult for people to be a bit, you know, sensitive or understanding it just seems like i'm being dramatic or oh, it seems like oh my god so you're still pregnant but you know i'm thinking about my baby's health and my health my placenta's health and i'm just keeping a close eye on baby's movement and 
um, believe in Jesus that tomorrow it's gonna be gold time. Even, I know it's, I'm just not gonna be putting a time on God anymore. I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Even if it's in the last moment, the last second, I know God, he will show up and show out for me because I'm one of his own. So yeah, man. I've stopped, not stopped worshiping, but um, before I was praying and worshiping quite a lot. Um, now I'm praising because I know the God that I serve is more than able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I can ask for, dream or imagine. Therefore, praise him, which says thank you God, because I know you've already done it. And I know it's already done in the spiritual realm and it will manifest in here, in heaven, in earth, <laughs> in earth. But yeah guys, I hope you are enjoying this journey to labor. Yeah, this has been quite nice for me. Beautiful day today. It would have been a banging day to give birth. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure tomorrow will be just as banging, if not better. So guys, I'm running myself a nice hot bubble bath with um, Redox, Epsom salt, um, a half cup of Dettol because I love the smell. Um, yeah. And I stopped to go to the toilet and my mucus plug came out. Yay! So guys, yeah, my mucus plug just came out. I'm having like really faint cramps. Really faint cramps. Um so let's trust God. I'm feeling a lot more calm than I was feeling over the last few days. Cause I just think the reality is the baby has to come out and I trust God. Um, after my bath, nervous napping, so after I have a hot soak, um, I'm going to listen to more praise while I'm soaking, just chill and then go for a walk. Um, I've been doing a lot of bouncing on the birthing ball, um, yeah I was just doing that while the bath was running actually, um, so to God be the glory in advance. Hey guys, so later on same evening, it's about 7.30, no it's about 8 actually, I think it's just gone 8 o'clock, um, going for a walk in the park with Nova and Eve, and um, I'm going to Sainsbury's, I don't know, I want dessert, I just don't know what dessert I want, <laughs> and these days are short lived at the moment, because it's all coming to an end! Name. Yeah. 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 What you said. This little girl. She's so. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Nova, yeah, is a Nafiana, guys, right now. She is a lat. She's an Energizer Bunny. And she's hilarious, I can't lie, she's not funny. I don't know why I look so washed out. <laughs> Sorry, I have to... Yeah. Guys, why does my lip look like that? I look grey. Or maybe I've touched something. I don't know. Oh, it's normal now. Yeah. But yeah, so... That's how it goes, we're just walking through a park right now. Yeah. I'm a bit out of breath. No, no. Baby's getting low. <laughs> My bump. No, no. Dropped. No, no. You know, you no, could no. feel all that space no. here that used to be up no. here in your in, in our art, in our yeah. art. Yeah. So thank God for that. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, By man. God's grace. Waters will be breaking tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Babies Hallelujah. will be crying tomorrow. A water birth will know who I am and I'll know who it is. In Jesus' name. What you said, baby. <laughs> Don't break your face. It's so bad, baby. <laughs> it's night time. It's night night, everyone. This is how Nova sleeps with her daddy every night in his arms. It's so cute. Well, yeah, when she's not in her bed anyway. 
You two are so cute. Say lovey daddy. Say lovey. So cute.